Hi, everybody. You're watching the Terrier Sports Network. I'm Michael Garay, and I'm joined here with seniors John Salhag and senior Nick Baum. Um, so, John, last game you scored the game tying goal of a free kick in the 69th minute at Fairfield. How has that lifted your spirits as a team in terms of morale? Um, I don't really know. Like, I mean, it's always nice to tie up a game, and I think that game was probably our best game this season. And um, like I said, it's always nice to tie it up. And if we would have played the last 20 minutes of that game, I think we'd definitely pull out a win. Right, right. You just recently had your second career hat trick on September 16th against NJIT. How do you do that? This is your second career hat trick. I mean, really, how do you do that? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. Like, I mean, you just play the game, you get lucky. If the, goal, if the ball goes in, you, it's fun, as always. And, I mean, I just try to do my best and right. I'm working right now. Right now you're leading the team in goals with six, and you lead the NEC in goals scored. To get to this level, how, how long have you been playing to just be at that level of play? I mean, how, how do you do it? No, I mean, I've, I've been playing soccer my whole life, right. or football as we call it right. in normal countries. Right. I'm kidding. Uh, but, like, I mean, I had a good education in soccer back home, and coming over here this four years, it's been awesome. And your next game is against Fairleigh Dickinson. Uh, what is the game plan against them? They have a very good team, so we have to uh, play very good. And they have a very good forward called mm -hmm. Dominic uh, up top, so hopefully Nick here is going to close him down and our offense is going to score some goals. Okay. Right now you guys are 2-3-2 two, and two right now. Um, it's, it's an okay season. You guys are still under 500. What do you hope to do to change? Uh, like, I mean, we had an all-new team this year, a lot of new players coming in, and uh, the first games was... All right, but I really think we started to put it together, and hopefully we can win the whole NACs and hopefully go into the tournament. So right now you're a senior. You've had four years, you know, of playing with uh, playing soccer at, at this school. What is what is a moment uh, that really stands out to you? Do you have any moments that you know really that that really gets you over the four years? Anything in particular uh, that stands out? I have to say a few games like we I remember when we um, went um, when we played Central Connecticut away okay. and his brother over here um, scored a tying no a winning goal right? in um, the last minute of overtime that was amazing okay we're gonna switch to a to um, senior captain one of the Baum brothers Nick Baum um, right now you guys like I asked John you guys are two and two three and two excuse me um, what is your take as to what the team has to do to turn the season around just to be a little bit better? Well, um, the last three games we played very well. So if we just continue that, you know, listen to the coaches, be disciplined, work hard, I think we'll be fine. So now that you're a senior, have you taken that leadership role? Like how pivotal is it for you to step in as the guy that your teammates look up to since you're the captain? Well, yeah, like John said, we have a lot of new players, you know, freshmen, sophomores need somebody to look up to and I got to be the leader on and off the field so I tried to be that. Still a good job. <laughs> now like John said he has some memorable moments do you have any moments in particular that really stand out over your four years here at St. Francis? I'm um, probably just playing with all the the guys that come through St. Francis you know all good guys but uh, most memorable probably the eight game winning streak we had my sophomore season that was unbelievable so I would say that. I'm going to switch to one of the questions which you probably hear all the time um, what is it like playing with your twin brother? Well, I really don't know what it's not like to play with him, so it's just, I, I don't mind it at all. I, I love playing with him. I've been doing sports all my life with him, so it's, it's a good experience, I think. And one last question. What do you plan on doing after you graduate? Um, I would say something in the law enforcement, government, you know, FBI, CIA, something like that in that field. That's what, yeah, that's what I like to do. What do you plan on doing after you graduate? Uh, oh, that's a tough question. Um, hopefully I actually stay here in New York and uh, hopefully I get to play some more soccer, which is my biggest dream. Otherwise, um, get a nice job over here, hopefully in like advertising, marketing, something. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, that's it for me here on the Terrier Sports Network. I'm Michael Garay. Thanks for tuning in.